Good morning. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eccentric Rockstar C, and I have some mental notes to share with you. Keep in mind, take what resonates, you leave what doesn't. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. A big yes. 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 Like 20 S's on the end of that word. Yes. Exclamation point. <laughs> with 20 more exclamation points behind it. All right, I have cards laid out already, okay? If you know the overall healing, oh shit, the overall message of this healing, of this introduction is healing. It's healing. Somebody wanted you to heal the impossible, but how is it your, how is it your place to heal the impossible for somebody else? You're not, a, you're not God, right? But then I got this card, this is you. The thorn, protection, boundaries, clear communication. Okay? So someone wanted, maybe wanted to interrupt your healing, perhaps. But they wanted you to heal the impossible. Like they put all their burdens and disrespect on you. As a, you know, when somebody's trying to be smart, trying to make you an offer you can't refuse. Or somebody's trying to, you ask, you, you present yourself in a way that's a yes for them but they make it difficult to say yes okay yeah you know, they don't want to surrender they make it difficult to say okay I, I receive it because they don't believe it or they're not ready to accept it or they just don't like the packaging that is coming in but either way it just mirrors it mirrors them it triggered them in a way where it's like I can't take this this big yes with all this exclamation and s's on the end when I haven't even started the, the fucking footwork. I didn't even start the groundwork. So somebody's angry. <laughs> because it came at a... It's just, they just real nasty in their energy. Because <laughs> they're not, they can't take this yes. They got to eat it when it's bitter, as they say. Because they're not ready for it. They're not prepared for it. That's not your problem, right? That's not like a them problem. But they've been putting that energy on you for a while. Like, try just to hold on. Like, I'm not ready, but I still want you here. So you got to, they expect you to just sit there, you know, and be patient with them and have a farce friendship with them when they know you're worthy of so much more. Okay. But you are already doing your groundwork. That's why the healing is there. And it's like, you have all that empathy. I see Queen of Cups when I see this card. All that empathy and compassion and you're there. You want to show up for everybody and you will with no question, you know, but with what boundaries, okay? So finally, somebody stepped in and said, this is who you, you know exactly who this person is. You know exactly what you're supposed to do for this person and you're not doing it. So what is she supposed to sit there for if you're not even starting the groundwork? Because the irony of that is, yeah, they're not ready and they want you to sit there until they're ready. But you sitting there is a punishment to both because it's going to block their healing and it's going to slow you down. So it's a no, it's like a lose-lose for everybody. But the energy, this was in one of my decks. I was shuffling and it was in reverse when it's supposed to be an upbreak. Okay. This is what's going to happen if you stay in that energy. I, I'm going to pull more cards to know why that was in reverse but it was mixed in there and i was called to i was looking at aso tarot videos last night and i love her i even had a personal reading from her before when she did them like a couple years ago but at the same time i was being as i was watching her videos i was being called to go get this deck this is the um night intuition deck or something like that but i'll go get the box when i'm done and I was told to get this deck last night because I was supposed to record a video last night, three videos last night, and I didn't. But I didn't. Rem I didn't forget the energy. You know, the energy is still there. All right, so I'm gonna start from the. I got one, two, three, four, five, six decks. Seven, including that tarot deck. Seven could be significant. But you do have a big yes, like somebody standing up and applauding, like you graduated or something. But it's a big yes in so many ways. Like you're somebody did not want you to tell the truth about 
what this process really entails because it's going to force somebody to stand back on their heels and grow where they just don't want to. They're very stubborn and they're very angry because you're doing it anyway. Like you're considered disobedient. A grown person calls another grown person disobedient. Okay. But they think you're being very disobedient. Like you're not honoring what they say or what they want kind of thing. And this can all be energetic because it's strong energy. I don't think this person is really speaking to you like that. Or you could tell by the way they speak to you that they're upset that you're maneuvering, that you stand 10 toes down in what you say you're all about. And when I show you these cards that's laying down, you'll understand why I got these messages. First of all, first of all, you got dual energy here. You got luck on your side. Okay, that's Sagittarius energy. You move. And then you got this. You're very close to achieving your goal. But I have them side by side. I have each a card from each deck on each side. Now I want you to take a close look at these two cards right here. You see the, the moons? One is black and one is white. One is red and one is blue. You get where I'm going with this? Okay, cool. Okay. Somebody's in their shadow. Then you got, then you got, on the red side, you got idealistic times, the garden of paradise. And you got, yes, just say yes. Then you got whale and okra, orca, elders, share your song, frequency of sound, diving deep. Now, on the blue side, you got loss, lack, fear, victimization she almost looks like a guy in a dress doesn't she no disrespect but she does and you got mirror who or what is triggering you and you got star ancestors hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper she was not supposed to make that speech so it's to be mass mass communicator or mass communications two people in mass communication all right, but you got focus. You're very close to achieving your goal. Stay focused, you know. Things, pivotal points you need to fixate on. It's, it's a good time to start a new project or, you know, you keep the momentum going as you move towards your dreams or you need to get back into good health habits or now, I think that's the one that resonates. The most, you need to get back into good health habits because you're angry. And when you're angry, your vibration's lower. So when your um, your immune system weakens, you're getting sicker. Now is a good time to renew, review your plans. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose. Sorry. They wanted you to heal the impossible. It's impossible for you to heal anything that somebody's not trying to get started and heal themselves. You're not God. But this is somebody with a God complex, trying to play a God in your life, trying to micromanage you. But then you also have, I know I'm on the right track with luck being on your side, okay? The other energy is counting their blessings, you know, literally writing them down, literally. Um, you're being called to laugh more. This is a wonderful time to start a course of study or teaching. And I think that's what you're doing. I think that particular one resonates more than anything. Don't be narrow-minded. You know, you keep your broad, keep your horizon very broad. And start a week of gratitude practice. So this is somebody who's remember the last reading I said, put love notes around your house, or in the case of business, put creative notes around the house that lead you to a higher calling. It's like stuff to look forward to. It builds that anticipation. You're in that playful energy and you're in that, that playful energy and with yourself and it's keeping your frequency high. So not to confuse you and bounce back and forth, we're gonna start with the luck on your side. So you have idyllic times with the garden of paradise. And on that photo, you see she has an owl in that photo, right? Hold on, I'm hearing something. You got 
a time of great peace and joy coming your way. It may be unexpected blessings or like a long-awaited result of extensive effort. Something you've been busting your ass and working really hard for. And you know, as a, with the butterfly in the picture, it reminds us pretty much of the gentle power. You're gentle about your power. Very, um, to become something completely new through a process of like metamorphosis because it starts, you know, it starts as a caterpillar and then goes into a butterfly. You also know that that transition is intense pressure and, and a lot of difficulty. So when it's time where it emerges from like a cocoon as a winged butterfly, having forged the strength to travel thousands of miles in its migration, that's the process of a butterfly. So similarly, you know, the hardships that you've been going through, it brought you great value 